going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make these moss stitch fingerless gloves. And all you need for this project is one skein of yarn. This is horse to weight yarn. You're going to use less than a skein. And also a 5 millimeter hook or a size H hook for the US. And you're going to need a tapestry needle to, to hide You'll also hands. need a tape measure. And that's it. So grab those items and let's get started. Okay. This project is not recommended for a beginner. If you have made the moss stitch slouch hat, then you'll be able to follow along a lot easier um, because you really have to keep turning your work back and forth and you need to be checking it every round to make sure that it's going diagonal. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a pain. It's not really meant for beginners. So um, you want to start off by chaining 24 or the moss stitch is in multiples of two. So if you would prefer to have it smaller or bigger, just keep it an even number. 24 seems to be a pretty good uh, n um, you know, number for me so I can keep it tight around my wrist. So I chain 24 and I'm going to slip stitch in the beginning stitch to form a ring. Then you want to chain one and you're going to be going around and single crocheting in all your stitches around starting with this very first stitch that you slip stitched into and then I'm going under two of the three uh, sections of the chain. So I've got two of my loops on top and one on the bottom. So continue all the way around your chain. When you get back up to the beginning again, I'll show you what you need to do next. Okay, when you have your 24 single crochets, you want to slip stitch in the beginning single crochet. This is the chain one, so don't slip stitch in your chain one. You just want to go on the top of the very first single crochet. Slip stitch and chain one. Now we're going to be starting our moss stitch. To do the moss stitch in the very first stitch, you want to do a half double crochet. And then the next stitch is a slip stitch. And that's how you're doing the moss stitch. It consists of half double crochet in one stitch and then a slip stitch in the next stitch. Half double crochet, you're just yarning over, you're going right into the next stitch, and then you're pulling through all three loops. Next stitch will be a slip stitch. And then repeat those two stitches for the rest of the round. Half double crochet and a slip stitch. Continue this till you get back up to the beginning again and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, when you've gotten back to the beginning again, again you want to slip stitch in that beginning stitch. It's also helpful to count your stitches if you're not sure which the beginning uh, is, your, is your beginning stitch. So I'm going to start counting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So I started counting from this stitch here, so I know that this is my beginning stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch there, chain one, and now after every round, you're going to be turning your work inside out. Now, again, just because this is the, the beginning rounds, you're going to be starting with half double crochet again in the very first stitch. And then the next stitch will be a slip stitch. So again, you're going to re repeat exactly what you did last round. Doing a half double crochet and then doing a slip stitch. And be very careful when you're doing your stitches here because you have this diagonal stitch in front here that may look like it's part of the stitch, but it's not. If you turn, you can see these are your two, your two um, stitches. You're going to be wanting to use those do not go into that front because that is what's making the pattern. These little 
things that are sticking up. So continue around with your half double crochets and your slip stitches and I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay, when you get back to the beginning again, you'll be slip stitching in your beginning stitch, which is half double crochet. And again, like every round, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your glove back. I'm going to be, you know, going back and forth like you would in a, in a, a row. Now, this is when it starts to get um, a little interesting that you're going to have to check every round if you want your um, your moss stitch to always be going the same way. You can have it go diagonal or you can have it go up and down. I think diagonal looks much better. As a default, and I'm saying this only as a default, you want to start with a half double crochet in your first stitch. This may change, but just for a default I always do a half double crochet. And then I continue my moss stitch, so the next stitch is a slip stitch. And then again, half double crochet, slip stitch. I usually work the first six stitches with my moss stitch. Then I'll turn it over, and then you can look and see how your moss stitch is lining up. Mine is now going up and down, and I don't want mine to go up and down. I want mine to, to go diagonal. If you want yours to go up and down, then you can just keep going along the pattern that you have right now. But if you don't want it to go up and down, and you want your moss stitch to go diagonal, then you want to back out to that very first stitch, and now you know that you don't want to start with a half double crochet this round this round you'll want to start with a slip stitch. So you'll slip stitch your very first stitch and then you'll do your half double crochet. And then you continue as normal. Slip stitch, half double crochet, and I'll do the first six stitches just like I did before. Because I just want to be 100% sure. So I'm going to turn it around and now you can see that they're going diagonal. They're not up and down anymore and that's what I want. I think it looks much better like that. So now that I know that they're going diagonal this round, I can just continue my pattern that I've already started. So I'll just continue my moss stitch. For this round and I will show you what to do when you get back up to the beginning again. Okay, when you get back up to the beginning again, you will want to slip stitch in your beginning stitch. Again, if you're not sure which is your beginning stitch, then count your stitches. Then chain one and you're going to turn as always every round. Now again, like I said on default, I'm always going to start with a half double crochet just because it's easier to work a half double crochet than it is a slip stitch in the beginning stitch and that's the only reason why I do it as a default because I just need to know what stitch I need to start with. So again I'm going to do the first six stitches with my moss stitch then I'm going to turn and see and again it's going up and down and I don't want up and down so looks like I'm going to start have to start with a slip stitch again this round so my first stitch this round will be a slip stitch again and I'll just continue my mall stitch as normal half double crochet slip stitch and this is how you're going to continue every round of this glove and you're going to want to keep doing this until your glove reaches about 17 and a half centimeters in the middle 
So this is where my thumb is, so just ignore that. I'm going to start where I would uh, measure. And mine is about 17 and a half. It can be 18. It could be whatever size that you want. It's up to you just because I don't know how long you would prefer to have your glove on your wrist. This one will go up to about here before it starts up to about here. And then I'll start my thumb. Usually about my knuckle area. I had to look it up real quick because I didn't know in inches. It says about 6.88, so about 7 inches. So you can uh, do it till it's about 7 inches, and if you like about uh, that length, then um, you'll be ready to start your thumb. So just continue it until you have the length of your glove, the length that you desire. And then once you're ready to start the thumb, come back and I will show you how to do that. Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do your thumb. Now let's say you've just done your last round here and you measured it. So you slip stitch, you measure it, you like it. It's a good size. So what you want to go ahead and do is chain one and turn. And then go ahead and chain five more times. You want to chain a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just wanted to chain one before I turn because it just makes it easier to turn. So now you have six chains. Now you want to skip over two stitches. And this one that it's you slip stitched into will count as one of those stitches that you're skipping. So you'll have one, two, and then this third stitch, you'll want to do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch again in the next stitch. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet. And then I'll do my slip stitch and my half double crochet. I'm just going to do my moss stitch. A few stitches. So I did a half double crochet. Then I'll do a slip stitch. Then I'm going to pull up and I'm going to turn and I'm going to look. To see if my stitches are going the way that I want. And they are. They're going diagonal. So I'll want to go ahead and keep going with what I have. So when I did my chain six, I slip stitched into the third stitch from here. One, two, and then this is the third stitch. Then I slip stitched again into the next, which was beginning my moss stitch um, for this round. So I had slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double cro crochet. If it's not going the direction that you want, if it's not going diagonal or you prefer to go up and down, instead of slip stitching again the second time, you want to do a half double crochet. So you would chain six, slip stitch into the third stitch, and instead of slip stitching again in the second stitch, you do a half double crochet. And then start your moth stitch with the slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, and th then it will make the pattern go up and down. So, I'm just going to continue my moss stitch, which is my half double crochet and slip stitch for the rest of this round. When I get back up to my chain, when I get back up here to my chain again, I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, when you have gotten back up to here, to the beginning where your thumb is, you just want to continue your pattern. So the last one I did here was a slip stitch, and now I want to find my six of my chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my beginning chain I want to start continuing to work in. So you're going to half double crochet and go into that first of your six chains that you made at the beginning of this round. And do a half double crochet. Well, because I ended with a slip stitch. My next stitch is naturally going to be half double crochet and then it's going to be a slip stitch so I need to find my next chain. Do a slip stitch, find your next chain, half double crochet, slip stitch, 
then half double crochet and slip stitch. Now I've worked all six of my chains here, continue on with the pattern that I was already doing. Then you want to slip stitch into the very next stitch, which was the slip stitch from last round here. So I'm going to slip stitch there and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. This is now going to be the beginning of my round. So I have my front part, I mean my, uh, my chain six that I did last round. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the very first stitch, not the one I slip stitched into, but the very next stitch to the left. And I'm going to start like I usually do with a half double crochet and then a slip stitch. I'm going to work over the whole chain six that I worked last time. And I'm going to just continue the pattern on until I get to the main part of the glove again. Because this is where you're going to want to check which direction it's going in is on the main part of the glove. You can't really check from this chain six area. You can't turn yet and check because it's only uh, beginning here. So you have to just start with a slip stitch or a uh, half double crochet. Doesn't matter. I prefer half double crochet when I start around like I always have. So I just started with my half double crochet and just continued and then work about six stitches as usual on the main part of the glove. And once you've done your, your six stitches then you can check your main part of the glove to see which way it's going. And mine looks like it is going up and down and I don't want mine to go up and down. So I'm, I know now I need to back out to my very first stitch where I did my half double crochet at the very beginning of the round here. And I want to start with a slip stitch instead of a half double crochet. So starting with a slip stitch this round. I'm going to work over my thumb, get back to the main part of the glove here, do about six stitches on this main part of the glove, and then I'm going to check it again just to be 100% sure that my pattern is going the way I want, and it is. It's going diagonal. So I'm just going to continue on with this pattern for the rest of this round. So I'll see you when you get back up here to the glove, um, to the thumb part again. Okay, I've come back to the beginning part where I started my round. And I'm going to slip stitch in that first beginning stitch of the round. And then again, always you're going to chain one and turn. And now for this round, the the thumb will be the last thing we work of the round. So we're just going to continue on as normal this way and then we'll come up to here. So you're going to um, do a half double crochet in the first, slip stitch in the next, do about the first six stitches, check it, make sure it's going diagonal and then if it is and continue the round as normal. And if it's not then you know what to do. Back up and uh, start with a slip stitch instead. You're going to be going back and forth checking it every round. We've, we've now done two rounds over the thumb and we need to do a total of six rounds. So we're about to start our third and so you'll do three, four, five, six. You'll have four more rows, rounds, because we're going in a circle. You have four more rounds of going back and forth going above this um, thumb part. You can always count starting from the thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. Total of six. And you'll be going uh, back and forth as usual. Making sure that your stitches are diagonal. And when you get to the end of the sixth round, then I will show you what to do next. Okay. After you've got your six rounds done above your thumb, you may want to try it on and see if you like 
the distance. I have a few more rounds, obviously, here because I'm about to do those rounds. But for the most part, if it's comfortable from the thumb to where you want it about here, you're going to do two more rows. Uh, so keep that in mind. But if you want it to go much further down, then maybe you'll want to do more than just those six rows you just did. Maybe you'll want to do another eight before starting this next uh, two rows to finish off the glove. So this is another place where you can customize it if you want the section to be a little longer. So once you've got it the size you want and you are happy with it, then I'll show you the last two rounds to finish off the glove. And all it is, is you slip stitch into the very last stitch and you chain one and then you just continue by putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and if you started with 24 stitches make sure that you count your stitches here to make sure you still have your 24 stitches if you don't then and it's way way off then maybe you want to do a decrease on this row and if you don't have 24 you actually have less then maybe you decrease less next round. If it's one or two stitches, it's not such a big deal. But I like to have my gloves a little tight fitting, or snug fitting, I should say, around my fingers. So continue to do that until you reach the beginning, which I am almost there. So when you get to the beginning, slip stitch in that first stitch. Now the very last round of the glove is, I chained one, is decreases. I just do a single crochet decrease all the way around. So if you had 24 stitches by the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. You're just reducing it all the way at least by half just to tighten up that area and before you end the glove I recommend trying it on seeing if you like that tightness if it's too tight then undo some of the decreases that you're doing this round and if you like it kind of loose then don't do as many decreases or none at all it's up to you But I like mine snug. So I've come back up here to the beginning again. I guess I'm going to do one single crochet in this last stitch. Then slip stitch. And then here's where I'm saying try the glove on now. And see if you like the tightness that it is. And if you do, then just go ahead and chain one. Cut your yarn. And then use your tapestry needle to hide your tail through your glove and that is it and that's it that is how you make the moss stitch fingerless gloves i hope that you like this tutorial and if you have any questions please check the pattern uh, it'll have pictures that hopefully will help you if you get stuck somewhere and if not then feel free to send me a message and uh, i'll try to help out the best i can but this is definitely, I recommend, not for a beginner. More like for a beginner advanced or advanced because you do have to check it every round and you have to be able to recognize the stitches. So that's it. That's the tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to click like and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.